Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to create an authorized system user from WebPOS immediately after installation. Moving on to today's topic, we'll see how to create a system user, reset print file to default, reset all normal setting, mandatory setting, all setting, and division. Let's look at the process how we create a system user. Initially after setting up the database and application into the client server, login in as admin user. First, let's create a new user, go to configurations, click on user manager, and from that drop down select user list. As you can see, the list of users is displayed in this user profile list. Now, click on the add user button, and you will be able to enter the user's information in the user information section. Then, in this user name section, type system user and the password as per your requirement. Now, fill in the necessary information in these sections which have asterisk icon at the top, and save it. If the admin has already created a system user in our application, it cannot be created again. Once we create a system user, it can't be viewed through the user manager like normal users. Since our system user has been already created, we are going to log out from this admin user, and log in as a system user again. Now enter system user as the user name, and enter the same password as you have set while adding this user. Now select the configuration, and click on system configuration. As you can see, the print file setup tab has already been selected for initial setup, just click on reset to default. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. It will sync all the latest default print file into the client's server from IMS server. After that, as per your need you can also download any vouchers print file, and update it individually. To do that, select the voucher type you wish to update from this drop down, for now, we'll select Proforma invoice, and then click on download default print file, this will download the default print file of Proforma invoice. The print file will be downloaded to your device. Make the necessary changes as per the requirement, and save it. To upload the updated print file, first select the file path here, then click choose file and select the updated file from your device. Now, when you click on this upload print file, a pop-up form will appear with the text OTP authentication. Only an authorized person will receive an OTP. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. After that, if you check this box, it will display the names of all the print files used in an application, along with the voucher name. Make sure to update the print file as per the displayed print file name. Now let's see how to set up print format reports and procedures. To do that, use this drop down to view all the settings tick print format, form wise print format, report column format, update stored procedure, tax config charge and default report master and report details. Now click or reset to default, it will update all necessary latest reports, procedures and formats to client's server, from IMS server. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. After that let's look into setting master, from where you can activate or inactivate, basic to advanced features of the application. Initially. To enable all default setting click on reset all normal settings, it will reset all the settings to default settings. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. Secondly, go to mandatory settings and configure all the settings as per the client's requirement. Tick this box and click this button to update the particular setting as per your requirement. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication or click this reset to default button to reset it to default. And lastly after configuring all mandatory settings, you can configure transactional, or accounting settings, through all settings or the category wise setting. Then, click all settings to see all of the setting names and descriptions. You can also change its value, and from this action column, you can either update it, or restore it to its default state. Now we will change this value to 1 and update it. 
Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. After updating you will see a blank in every section, now reload the application once and you will see an updated value. Click this button to reset it to default. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. And follow the same method of reloading the application. After that click on the back button to go to the dashboard. Now, again click on system configuration, and select division master, from where you can create a new division. As you can see from the list of divisions, click on add division to add a new division. Fill out the initial, name, address, remark, and branch account. The rate group and cost center are not mandatory, if needed fill it as per your requirement, and click on save. Please follow the link in the description and enter the OTP provided for authentication. The newly created division will be displayed here, you can also view, edit, or delete it as needed. After that click on the back button to go to the dashboard. Please keep in mind, that you must follow these steps whenever you install WebPOS for the first time into the client server. Always make sure to configure all settings before saving any transactions. We hope this video was helpful while creating the system user and change the setting.